So I got my eggs frozen. Because <laughs> Eva Longora told me to. That's a real sentence. Like, this is a real thing that happened. It's working with her on a pilot. It's like, how? At the time, I was like, it's like seven, eight years ago. I said, get your eggs frozen. I was like, okay. Because, and I had to, right? 41, I had to get my eggs frozen. It was two years ago. But I had to get my eggs frozen. Because I've never had sex with a man I wanted to know for 18 years. <laughs> it's like, sir, I don't know your last name and I'm not trying to find out on a birth certificate. I don't know. It's crazy. Because I make bad decisions, right? I have a tendency for a long time, you know, I would sleep with the uh, financially ch broke, dude, broke, broke, they're broke. <laughs> Because here's, here's the, first of all, when you want to get your eggs frozen, right? Insurance didn't cover it. Because, since I've never tried to get pregnant, I don't know if I can get pregnant. So I was fucking around, but I never found out. <laughs> so because of that, because listen, I've never let a man shoot the club up. It's never happened. <laughs> now, if you don't know what I mean by shoot the club up, I truly can't be any more clear than what I said. <laughs> I am the establishment in question. <laughs> and when a man comes into my establishment, he must wear a jacket. <laughs> when he leaves, he got to take all his little friends with him. <laughs> no child left behind, literally, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> So because of that, I pay out of pocket, right? And it wasn't cheap. And I won't tell you, because every time I say it out loud, it makes my back hurt. And so, <laughs> but there's a lot of steps that go into getting your eggs frozen that people don't tell you about. There's a lot of shit that has to happen. First of all, you have to, it's a wild experience. First thing you have to do, because they have to take your blood. Because they have to find out how many eggs you got to see how they can get them out, right? And the only way to do that is to take your blood when you're on your period. And I said to the nurse, that sounds redundant. She was like, what do you mean? I said, oh no, I have a stupid nurse. <laughs> Here's the other thing. They go, the same nurse goes to take my blood. She can't find my veins. She's jabbing me, I'm bleeding here, I'm bleeding here. And she goes, oh, let me go get the girl who's good at this. I said, why the fuck was I talking to you? <laughs> why do you work here? <laughs> so, and they didn't just, so I'm, now they caught me in both, they caught both sides, right? So, they didn't give me just a cute little band-aid. They gave me gauze and then they wrapped this bitch. <laughs> both sides, right? So I look like I've been through trauma. And since I'm a fucking comic and all my friends are comedians, I made the mistake of going to a fucking show. And we know most of my friends are men, right? Because that's just how stand up fucking is. And so I walk up and I've got bandages on both arms. And my friend goes, Ugh, take that off, you look like a junkie. I'm like, nigga, junkies don't use bandages. The fuck you talking about? <laughs> So that was a fun exchange. <laughs> One of my good friends, he knew I was going through all of this. And while, you know, again, you ever had like a very interesting piece of information that you really wanted to share with one of your friends, but you forgot that your friend was high. <laughs> I made the mistake of telling my high homeboy I, was, I, I walk up, so I got the bandages on, yelled at that one motherfucker, and I'm talking to another one. He's smoking a blunt. And I walk up, he goes, hey, how was the bitch doctor? I was like, the gynecologist? <laughs> I should have stopped there. <laughs> but my friend's an asshole. So I expected this line of conversation. So I was like, uh, actually, I learned something kind of cool. He was like, shh, shh, shh. I fuck with knowledge, what's up? <laughs> I said, well, okay. I said, you know how uh, men produce semen every 72 hours because God knew they were gonna waste it? 
<laughs> what do you know? Wasted socks, uh, napkins, people you don't like, you know, wasted. He's like, fuck you, but go on. <laughs> well, women, on the other hand, every egg a woman's going to have in her lifetime developed when her mother was pregnant with her. He went, what? I said, okay. Um, so every, so I was like, you know, I lose an egg every month. Yep, period time. I was like, well, the cells for those eggs, uh-huh, developed when my mother, yeah, was pregnant with me. So, 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 does that mean that your grandma was pregnant with you and your mom at the same time? <laughs> Fuck. Hey man, let me see that blunt. <laughs> uh, I think so? <laughs> Got them Russian stacking dolls make way more sense, don't they? <laughs> I get new. It's the first step. They gotta see if you got any eggs to take out. So I did have some eggs. So the next step is now they know if you got them. Now they know they gotta figure out how to get them the fuck out of you, right? So they have to. What they have to do is they have to give you an ultrasound. But they don't give you that good Christian ultrasound where they put the gel on your belly and you get to look at a computer with a Rorschach test on it. No, 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 no. They give you something called an internal ultrasound. So this nurse rolled out a machine with a dick on it. I said, man, why does this computer have a penis? She said, what? I said, what's his name? She said, what? I said, I only always need a last name. Give a fuck my last name. But what's his name? She's like, huh? I said, hello, Mr. XR3000. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> so I drop towel, lay on the table, fly back, fake it England. And then, all done. I grab my panties out the bunch in the corner, put them on, go talk to the doctor, right? So I'm sitting there from the doctor. So they got my test, they got my blood work, and they got the sonogram, and they got all the information they need to tell me what to do, right? And he goes, well, I got good news and I got okay news. And I was like, that's not how medicine works. <laughs> you have information. He said, which one you want first? I said, the okay news. He said, well, the good news. I said, that's not what I asked you. <laughs> I said, the okay news. He said, well, here's the thing. And basically, just to give it to you in layman's terms, because the way the account for my uterus was set up, He's like, we're going to have to put you under anesthesia. I said, okay. I'll probably be crying anyway, so that's fine. He's like, but here's the thing. Because of the anesthesia, you're going to have to lose 50 pounds. And I said, I'm, I'm sorry. Did you just tell me I'm too fat to go to sleep? <laughs> I was asleep before I got here. <laughs> I'll probably take a nap when I get home. <laughs> Also, I don't think you're calculating this anesthesia correctly. He's like, what? I said, I've seen that show in my 600 pound life and them people ain't getting gadget bypass while they awake. See, you need to calculate me on 600 pound life anesthesia. I've never been cut out of my house, so I just need you. The numbers is wrong. You calculate me off a of housewife anesthesia. I don't need that anesthesia. Calculate me off of them bitches. I said, well, if that's the okay news, what's the good news? He said, oh. I can see from the sonogram that when you are ready to have children, you should be successful because I see you have a very hospitable woman. <laughs> to which I said, mm, mm. what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I know I'm a fine southern lady. I didn't know the hospitality went all the way down. <laughs> but then I thought about it. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I just get diagnosed with good pussy? Is that just what happened? <laughs> Wait a minute. Put it in my chart! 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 In my chart. <laughs> Next time I want a date, sir! I ain't paying for shit! You see this? 
<laughs> Great egg pussy, baby. Don't play with me. I'm playing for these Southwest egg rolls. I'm gonna be fucked up. Put certified. Fuck out my face. <laughs>